Yes. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for always being here. I have to be very much thankful because every day we have new subscribers and we have always returning subscribers who come to enjoy my content. So I, it's a slow living. I just want you to spend these few days uh, with me as a mom with five kids and how I run my life and my days with uh, all those children. Yeah, so I start this morning by cleaning this house. This is on a Friday. And my girl had was taking milk. I don't know. She didn't just like the milk and she just threw the bottle down and it broke. So I decided to just wipe that seat and also wipe uh, the bottles before I can start cleaning because I want to clean the living room. As you can see, it's very dirty. It has uh, things from uh, peanuts and everything. You know, when we take peanuts, it tends to be a bit messy because the kids, when they remove the outer cover of the peanuts, they just uh, blow it everywhere. Yeah, they never uh, care. I can't say that they never care because it's on a Friday. It was very early in the morning when they were taking a uh, breakfast and uh, they just left me with all this mess. And always when I'm left with the mess, I have to clean before I can sit down and do my own thing. So I'll start by sweeping because if you mop with the, all these things, it's the, the mop will, they'll stick on the mop and sometimes it becomes very difficult to remove them. So whenever you are going around with the mop, you find them everywhere yeah in as much as you're mopping you'll still find them everywhere and remember this house has kids so sometimes i cover my seat from uh, spills and everything you don't want to have spills on your seat it was very unfortunate that the uh the time she spilled the milk that place had no cover yeah so i'll remove every cover put them away until they come back in the evening i'll have to cover my seats i can't tell you that my house is neat 24 7 most of the time i uncover i, I cover it uh, when they are around when they are not around i uncover it and just enjoy my, my my space so i want to do that mop the living room and then we can go into a different thing i hope you get to enjoy this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if it is your first time here here we do home making videos cooking yeah sharing recipes if it, if that is the kind of content that you love please do subscribe and also give the video a, thumb, a thumbs up and share it widely so most of the time uh when we have clothes from outside we do put them uh on top of this basket here so that when i have the strength to fold them i usually just fold them so uh my kids are the ones who remove uh who, who took the clothes from the hang hanger outside and just threw them there and because it was late and i was a bit tired um honestly i don't push myself these days if i'm tired i'm just tired i'll just let everything lie there if you have kids uh like a lot of kids <laughs> you can relate even if it is one you can really relate that it's not easy to just be tidying up the house after every 20 minutes like if there are spills you stand up and you tidy again if there is something thrown down you stand up and the nini do that again it's not easy it's not easy like we are not robots we are human beings and we function on blood we don't function off well so if there is something on the floor and i'm tired i can't push myself what if i fall down most of the time i get very dizzy from doing house chores. so i have to go slow with my i have to really love myself take care of myself because if i don't take care of myself sometimes the people in the house won't take care of you kids and uh, everyone in the house become selfish and don't remember that a mother also needs rest a mother needs peace of mind a mother is not all about um yelling cooking cleaning all the time no that is not the life we need rest we need uh our own space yeah at some point so most of the time i just ignore them and when i get the strength i just go and uh do all that i got this mopper from china square and honestly i love it i've had a collection of uh many cleaning uh tools uh cleaning moppers I also love this i love it because you get to use your hand like that to squeeze it like that 
and it spreads it spreads evenly and you are able to wipe and the material used i think it's at the cotton yeah it's cotton and absorbs water and when you just uh squeeze out it squeezes out all the water and the mop stays dry so you have to although i don't trust uh mops so i decided to come with a uh, another mop that i bought that really uh sucks all the water from the floor so that nobody gets to fall down you see even i was like walking like a penguin but i got this mop also from this one i got from ramptons and this takes all the water and the floor the floor remains very very dry but for you to be able to use this mop you have to sweep the house to be free of dust before you can use that mop so this is a uh, lunch time this is on a sunday it's not the same day it's on a sunday so i want to actually it's breakfast yeah it's breakfast i want to make mandazi so that the kids can take uh take with strong tea yeah they took with strong tea because they had a lot of coughs and i did not want to make tea that had uh, has milk even though i did put milk in my mandazi but i did not use a uh, milk tea to give them with mandazi so with my mandazi i love having soft mandazi like i love making soft mandazi i can't tell you that i love taking mandazi because i'm always i i try as much as possible to stay away from fried foods and everything so but with the kids i make them everything i can't restrict them because i'm keeping away from certain things so i love using milk because i love my mandazi being soft when you bite into the mandazi you don't struggle or just stretch and just pull the mandazi like you're pulling uh chewing gum so i love using milk i love using eggs vanilla essence yeah and uh, some butter melted butter or melted margarine depending on what you have but i didn't have any of those i decided to use oil and still it works so i'm going to cover this for 20 minutes and uh, after that i'll start now making the mandazi yeah as easy as it is i did add cardamom for some good flavors and also some good aromas on the mandazi so it's been a while since we made mandazi so i decided today let me just make mandazi most of the time i make peanuts i make um yeah this uh, plant-based things so i'm going to wipe here yeah, because this is the only surface that i have to work on and most of the time i love keeping it clean it's not uh, as good as i would wish it to be but i love wiping it all the time yesterday night i did i did my dishes and i don't do my dishes like every night like before i go to bed there are days i just pile them in the sink i just organize them soak them and then be doing them in the morning but yesterday night i did all the dishes all i had was this pot of ugali yeah in every african household or kenyan household you will always find a pot being soaked waiting to be washed so <laughs> Yeah, and that is what I was using. I was uh, doing washing only this pot so that I can clear the sink and just have uh, the sink that is neat and doesn't have uh, dishes. And we had run out of water in the dispenser, so I I wanted to do a refill so that it's easier for us to be having water. Like, do you know we run? We use uh twenty liters in a day. Yeah in a day or a day and a half or maybe two i don't think it goes past two because we drink a lot of water the kids get to carry water to school when they come back they drink a lot of water by the time you notice all the water has is finished so i don't like like uh being caught off guard i always have some other water near I mean, on a standby <laughs> i've really talked a lot so because it's still morning and me i don't start with taking breakfast directly i usually take water before i can take anything and i'm not going to take the same thing as the kids i usually take porridge so mostly fermented porridge i'm going to warm water and then take with my apple cider apple cider really really helps with the gut whenever i take a whenever i use apple cider or fermented stuff my gut health changes everything changes like my stomach everything the digestion and everything it really re uh, makes my gut health in a good state so i love using the apple cider 
to take water in the morning but i use just a little bit i don't use a lot you don't need to use a lot of apple cider if you abuse the apple cider it will also abuse you it will take you through diarrhea and everything it will loosen up your stomach <laughs> yeah so i use like a spoonful and uh, then i add water and then i just zip slowly i, I sip slowly not zip sip slowly uh just taking my water patiently without any speed yeah so mm, this mandazi has this dough has been sitting for like 20 minutes so i want to roll it out and then cut it into smaller pieces you know the procedure of making mandazi like it's not something that is hard so i'm gonna spread it out roll it out and then cut it into smaller pieces and then i'm going to fry it in oil yeah that is the only way you can make mandazi i cannot tell you that i have a specific video where i've taken you through the the process of making mandazi but process of making mandazi is just direct but i have videos of details a video that are detailed that i have explained yeah verbally on how to make mandazi step by step yeah if you master the art and mostly use medium high heat for you to have it cooked uh, mandazis that the, uh, that are cooked evenly sometimes some people would say oh i i tried to make mandazi but the bound on the outside and the inside was, wasn't cooked so just use medium heat as you monitor the mandazi when you are making them let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it so done making mandazi and uh, the next thing i want to make is porridge as i said i love taking fermented porridge and this is the other uh i did this fermentation like six days ago so this is the first time i'm opening it the other one i had uh, put in a different container and uh made it with porridge for the rest of the days that i wasn't able to be opening this i love my fermentation to go past seven days or even past five days at least you get the good bacteria inside and the soreness and everything that you want mostly i love it because uh, it's not about the healing properties but it is because of the soreness but i love adding sugar just a little bit of the sugar because the kids will be having it this is this is uh around i think they had had breakfast this is around eleven thirty. so i wanted to give them porridge it's on a little yeah it's on a sunday and most of the time on a sunday they are so idle uh, in a, in 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 a way that they eat a lot yeah they really eat a lot i i wonder when the holiday comes what you're going to do so i'm preparing for lunch so i'm gonna uh, cook the soaked green grams i had soaked green grams i just wanted to just cook them as i serve them porridge and i want to also have me me i'm going to take uh, this as a snack yeah i'm gonna take my kombucha as a snack i wanted to show you the scoby this is how the scoby looks like after the fermentation has been taking place for like 17 days this is what it forms so this is what assists or boosts the fermentation of uh, uh kombucha i almost said of kefir i'm so used to kefir so this one is fully fermented it's 18 days old and i haven't treated it and i love it i'm telling you the healing properties that are inside the kombucha you should be you should just know the healing properties of kombucha i love it and i just love taking it while my stomach is not full like these two hours after meals or three hours after meal so i just take it and if i feel like i want to take water i'll take water or replace this with water but I usually take half a glass a day. You don't have to abuse it as well. <laughs> yeah, so I'm done making the porridge and my kids are line, have lined up for serving. Yeah, each and 
every, each each and every one of them with their own cups they did not even mind which cups they are going to bring to have porridge but they love fermented porridge added some lemon i added some lemon because they also love it when you add some lemon and some little bit of sugar yeah so that was like a snack to them so it's around lunch time and motherhood is calling the baby's on the back and i'm here making chapati so i want to make chapati just uh like eight pieces eight to ten pieces yeah enough to be consumed during lunch time i don't want to keep food uh lying there and they'll be just coming and asking i want to add chapati i want to add this no i don't like such a habit so i usually make food that we finish at once so i'm gonna this time i used very very hot water that is why you saw me mixing with a spatula and honestly i'm loving the hot water thing because it really makes chapati is very very soft who doesn't love very soft chapati and my babies love soft chapatis yeah so and always the combination of chapati goes with uh, green grams they love it when you give them with green grams or maybe the red beans mostly the red beans they love the red beans i love the red beans that is the kidney or black beans yeah no the kidney beans the kidney beans are the red beans yeah so i'm gonna cut some onions some carrots i'm gonna throw in some carrots and then i will be making chapatis plus uh green grams with this uh, th these are the only things i'm using by the way i'm not using any spices on this meal today i'm only using carrots onions tomatoes and salt that is all that i'm going to use to make uh my green grams yeah so I hope you still get uh, I, I hope you're still enjoying this video up to this point um if you're a mother i know you can relate the multi-task uh, tasking the you have to prepare like you you, you keep timing yourself you're, you're sitting somewhere doing something but you're still thinking on what am i going to make for lunch what am i going to make for dinner uh when are they going to shower you see such things so I love I I loved sharing this experience of mine even though it's there are some things left out but I just loved uh, sharing this experience of mine as a stay at home mom with many kids yeah let me put it like <laughs> with many kids so let's make chapatis chapatis I've made chapatis honestly I've made chapatis in my channel like so many times I have a video on this channel that is only specifically for chapatis. So if you still can't master the art of making soft chapatis, go to that video, watch it, get all the information from there and you will love it. You will love it and you will really, really get soft chapatis and chapatis that you can enjoy. Yeah. And as I always say, I don't put sugar in my chapatis. I love making chapatis minus sugar i only use salt because most of the flies the flowers not flies most of the flowers these days are fortified so you find them they are even sweet even without putting sugar inside so i pre-cooked this um uh green grams let me tell you there's a, a method i tried of just cooking green grams minus minus frying green grams minus uh cooking them but i i felt like the taste wasn't was wasn't that good so i prefer cooking them before i can fry them but with the lentils you can just uh fry them while they they haven't been boiled so i also did laundry last night most of the time i do laundry at night i haven't i it's been long like the entire since the year started i've never done laundry during the day so most of the time i run laundry at night then i get to remove my clothes during the day because most of the time when i do laundry during the day and somebody has done laundry from maybe upstairs water drips on my clothes so i prefer doing at night and then in the morning i get to unhang them so by the time they are hanging their own clothes i don't get to get all that mess of uh, people dripping uh, water on my clothes so yeah this is a different day it's on a monday i'm going to town and whenever today i'm using a, pub a public means and sometimes i love that experience so and i can't why, why should i get bored because I'm, I'm 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 somewhere i always carry my crochet so that if there is traffic i just crochet 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 because that is a customer's order and 
yeah i just don't want to idle i'll work everywhere <laughs> yeah so i took a motorbike to the yarn store i was going to shop for yarns yeah i had some order that people wanted specific colors so i went for the yarns did my shopping and um left the store and went somewhere else as i was walking through the street this is pirates shoes uh store yeah i went there because i really wanted not that i really wanted i just wanted a pair of shoes so i was looking at which shoe fits me well which shoe looks nice yeah i did a couple of fitting and uh, ended up taking like two pairs yeah with me home yeah sometimes i love just being alone minus the kids minus everyone around me just to have my time alone let's take it slow in the shop i'm going to it's on the sixth floor yeah i'm on the fifth floor almost there it's on the sixth floor oh god but why why don't they have an elevator oh my god i'm so tired <laughs> but i have to go there Imagine after climbing that high, it's closed. It's closed. I have to go down again. I think I'll just go to Kamkunji because I also need glasses. So I'll go to Kamkunji and get glasses. So, yeah, let me get a motorbike. As if they won't break. <laughs> I've really bought glass. this glass today yeah i think i had the fear that my kids would break it but let me just have it honestly you can't stop having good things because of the kids so i got this i've also i don't know where my spoons are going or maybe they are just there i think no i took some home yeah I took some home a while back and I think I've been lazy replacing them, just being lazy. So I got this and I love the details. You see that? Although I don't know if the salty water is going to be nice to my spoons. I don't know, but it has been nice to the other spoons because they were of good quality. Yeah. You see the fox i love the details of the fox you know the other day i was looking for fox to take uh, something with and i could only find two fox seriously seriously <laughs> a old woman like me so i got fox even though we don't get to use fox a lot we don't use fox a lot so i got this and i'm happy i'm happy least better than nothing i love them they are so beautiful blueberry tea
this was later in the evening and i noticed that we had no flour cooking flour that is uh ugali flour so i decided to go to the posho meal and have my maize meal this was around 6 30 pm yeah it was a bit late given that i cook very early most of the time i cook like uh 6 45 yeah but it was late but we decided to go to the posho meal anyway we love milled uh milled flour and since we always have a uh, maize it's always good to just go to the posho meal and have our our maize meal so that we can use it to make ugali yeah we are done oh my god it's late at night let's go On my way to the posho meal, I had passed by this kibanda where they sell greens. So I chose some greens so that the lady can actually remove uh, the outer cover so that it is going to be easier for me. Those were pumpkin leaves and we love pumpkin leaves. So this is around 8. Yeah, for the first time we are eating late. So it's around 8 p.m. And I want to make ugali. Normally I make porridge first before I can start now making my ugali. And then I have put, I, I want to boil the greens just a little bit. And then I'm going to fry them and then we shall be having our dinner. If you've been watching up to this point, thank you so much. Thank you for the support and the love. Thank you for always being here. I love it when I make videos for you and I hope that you get to enjoy this kind of videos. Until my next video. Thank you so much and bye. Good time wherever you're with